Dragons, ninjas, and space monkeys? What's coming in 2022 in Magic the Gathering? Welcome to Collectors of the Coast, I am Cash. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the sets and uh, products for coming up in uh, 2022 in the Magic universe. Uh, and uh, kind of I'll give you some thoughts maybe about uh, what I think uh, about them. I'm going to try to go fairly quick because there's just a lot of stuff. Um, and so what I, I think what I'll do is I'll start with the standard sets and I'll kind of go through and then we'll talk about some of the non-standard sets um, and maybe some of the commanders and stuff like that. So um, first things we see coming up in the year um, is a reprint uh, set. So first time I think they've done uh, something like this exactly. So it is kind of interesting. I kind of think it's kind of a weird one uh, in that I don't hear a lot of uh, buzz about it, but I feel like once people open it, the Wizards has a way of doing this, where you think uh, the products that you think aren't going to be that great end up being really good. Um, and then all of a sudden everyone's scrambling at the last minute to get their hands on them. Uh, and so the first set of the year that's coming up is Innistrad Double Feature. And, and this is all kind of black and white monster movie uh, kind of feel. And it's just a reprint of Crimson Vow and uh, Midnight Hunt. And I guess I'm not hearing a lot of buzz about it. It's coming out uh, not too long before the first standard set release of the year, uh, which people are excited about so far. Um, and yeah, anyway, so they, they've kind of released a bunch of info, but I feel like there's going to be some kind of twist or something that people are really going to like about it, or, or maybe uh, the uh, the actual print numbers of it aren't going to come out that much, and then people are going to be scrambling to get it because it's something different. So, uh, so first one of the year is coming out January 28th. Um, and it is just one set of boosters, so I actually kind of like that, that it's just coming out in draft boosters. It is meant to be drafted and played, which is, is kind of nice, because we haven't had that for a while. Everything's got collectors and fan dangled this and that. Everything is kind of fancy in it, so, um, and it's a big set, so it'll be an um, interesting one. I'm not sure myself how much I'm going to get of it. I, I don't know if I'm going to get one box, if I'm going to get five boxes. I'm sure I'm going to get one box uh, just to play with, but I haven't pre-ordered anything or anything like that. Um, should be interesting. So, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, next one, uh, in the first standard set of the year is Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Um, and so this is a throwback to Kamigawa back in the day. I remember, uh, Champions of Kamigawa when it came out and that cycle came out and just lots of interesting kind of cards. Uh, gameplay was kind of a little bit, I wouldn't say it was the most, it was kind of a weird kind of gameplay, uh, cycle. Uh, when they came with the full cycle before, but it was interesting with the ninjas and the different things. I uh, wouldn't say I bought into that set the most uh, back in the day. It was kind of just a little bit out there for me. Um, there were certainly some good cards, but uh, I liked some of the more gimmicky cards, uh, the Myogens and things like that, that uh, I don't know if anyone even remembers what they are, but uh, yeah, that Nujutsu ability has been pretty popular over the years, so uh, pretty excited. Um, no doubt with that set, we're going to get the whole shebang. We're going to get the collectors, uh, we're going to get the uh, the, all the ch the commander decks uh, and uh, everything that goes with it. So um, the next um, major set that comes out, um, so that one of course will be more like Asian themed. There'll be some, I'm sure there'll be some wicked Asian kind of arts and stuff. We've seen a couple previews already and they look pretty cool. So um, the next one, uh, probably in May, uh, definitely qu second quarter, is uh, Streets of New Capenna. And uh, so this one. Um, is a place built by angels, is what they're saying, but now run by five demonic crime families. So a little bit kind of going back. I'm sure they're going into the color pairs, uh, probably covering the color pairs they didn't cover last year in uh, Strixhaven. Uh, so we'll get the maybe the opposite of that. Um, so expect uh, some kind of... Uh, I'm trying to remember what if the lands... I don't, know if they come, I don't know if they completed the land cycle. So if they haven't, they'll, they'll, they'll finish the land cycle in that. Uh, no doubt, so expect that. Um, uh, demons, so it'd be another kind of dark set probably, but maybe dark and light, so it feels like angels are a thing every year, so I'm, I'm sure we'll have a couple of bomb angels. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that'll come out second set. Again, the full shebang, we'll probably get uh, two more. Uh, is this around when they do the commander? I can't remember when they bring out the commander decks. Uh, we might get the... When did the commander decks come out? They came out in the third set of the year last year, so we probably won't see them till then. Uh, Dominaria United is the third one, and it's supposed to be third quarter. Third quarter usually means August, uh, so we'll probably see that in uh, July or August. Uh, and 
and so we're back to Dominaria. So we'll be Dominaria, uh, we'll get the whole thing, and it'll be, uh, it'll be really big on Commander, uh, because there's so much legendary, uh, stuff in it, and, uh, so we'll probably see that as a real big Commander kind of set. A lot of Commander stuff. It's still every main focus of, of, uh, Wizards these days is Commander, uh, since so popular. Uh, the problem is, is they're, uh, you know, they're really making, uh, so many of these Commander decks over powered and and some of these they happen really fast uh it'd be kind of more interesting to see like i like some of the cards that that, that make the games really interesting and and a lot of interesting interaction uh so hopefully we'll get more to that and, and instead of just making like bomb cards or or a lot of uh super acceleration uh like jeweled lotus that just kind of like yeah someone wins turn one or turn two because they got a soul ring and a jewel lotus and Bam, they're playing a seven casting cost or eight spells on their first turn. They're making things on tapping and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, and and bombing the table in, in a couple turns in some super combo. So, uh, anyways, we don't know a lot about this one yet, uh, but uh, should be interesting. Uh, the last standard set of the year uh, is the Brothers War. And this one actually looks really good to me. Usually the last set of the year is probably the best set of the year. If it's not the best set of the year, it's one of the best couple sets of the year. I expect this one will probably be the best standard set of the year. I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, this one's, uh, again, this one's kind of hooked into Dominaria again. Um, and it's about the war between Urza and Mishra. So this actually might be more of an artifact set. We haven't had one of them for a while. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see if we're going to see that. Because uh, there's a lot of Urzas did a lot with artifacts. Um, and Mishra with the bobble and the different things. So we might see some artifacts, which would be kind of cool because uh, um, I, we just haven't had it for a while. So I, I'm expecting that'll be uh, really interesting. We'll get to play some of our artifact stuff again. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is uh, probably going to be artifact heavy, so you can look forward to that. So there's other releases coming up uh, in 2022. Um some of the standard sets uh, these days, I'm kind of looking at them and I go, oh, she knows a few cards I want from the standard sets, but do I want to buy a whole bunch of it? Because like the, the other sets are, are, are bigger, like Modern Horizons 2, such a bomb last year. Double Masters the year before, like you could have bought how much Double Masters. You just couldn't do bad buying the boxes. So um, so the first one coming out, actually, I think the first product of the year, actually, I think it's coming at the same time as uh, as the, uh, the, the, uh, the double, whatever they call it, double black... Uh, the, uh, what the hell is it called again? The uh, double feature, sorry, double feature. Uh, and so the first one coming out is Commander Collection Black. Looks really good. Uh, seeing the Phyrexian Arena in there, a few cards I really like, Reanimate. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be sought after for a bit, and then people will kind of forget about it, and it'll sit on their shelves if they have extras and stuff like that. Uh, but it does look really good. Um, the next question is, what's going to be the next one? I'm thinking next one's going to be white towards the end of the year, beginning of next year uh we, we should see that so uh challenger decks will be coming out in the first quarter um i'm gonna do a video speculating on them since i don't think there's information out there about them yet um but yeah stay tuned for that um but there will be challengers decks coming out uh, pretty soon as well so uh probably i can't remember when they came out last year i, I think the, the end of february something like that uh beginning of march so the next set that's coming out in this one i am super excited about this is probably Man, they've got a few really interesting sets coming out this year. The next one is Unfinity. Um, and this is the next... Uh, this is the first legal set to play um, of the unsets. And uh, some of the cards are going to be legal. Uh, and it just... Uh, from what they've shown so far, the lands and they, they, the, the little bit they've shown so far, it looks amazing. Those lands look, oh, they look incredible. So, uh, super excited for that. Hopefully it's as good as the early show of it i know people are licking their lips for it um this is one i may uh may really get into it looks like it's gonna have a real space theme to it um and uh it'll be really interesting to see how they mix things mix things in so uh shortly after that um is uh, also in the the second quarter is going to be commander legends battle for Baldur's gate now commander legends one was amazing i don't expect this one to actually be as good but we'll see um, there were some cards that uh, in the original D and D set, I just thought they did such a they didn't have them, and I didn't think the art was good. So I'm hoping this one makes up for everything that was missing in the last one. Uh, I'm hoping we'll see uh, Elminster the Sage. I'm hoping we'll see uh, you know Drizzt Warden. I'd love to see a reprint in a full art that's good, uh, just an okay card. But still, I'd love to see some of those cards uh, that didn't get the proper treatment. 
that they're going to get reprinted in a better treatment. So, or even in a, even in a, people like say secret, secret layer around it. I, I still amazes me they didn't do some kind of special secret layer that was really good with the D and D set. Didn't make a lot of sense to me. So maybe that's because this was their ultimate plan. I'd like to say they're altering ahead. We'll probably see more of the venture mechanic and uh, going into the dungeons. Uh, and so some of those cards, you might see them really spike uh, from the first set. Uh, Double Masters 2022 uh, is coming out in the third quarter, uh, right in the middle of summer when I'm so busy with uh, work. Uh, but uh, it, if a Double Masters 1 has anything to do with anything, we're guessing this one's going to be crazy. Expect another VIP edition because that went over pretty well the last time. Uh, but it looks like uh, that'll be a bomb set. Uh, maybe the set of the year. It's really hard to know. They got Commander Legends and that set coming out again, and they were both really good. So uh, in the fourth quarter, we're going to get uh, Jumpstart 2022. Should be, again, more of a beginner set, but probably some unique cards in there. Hopefully they, they execute it better this time, and there's enough supply uh, so that people who really want to play like more of a, a beginner kind of set like that um, with the whole idea of mashing them together, uh, hopefully they, we can get our hands on it. So, so uh, next in the gamut for uh, 2022 is the Universe Beyond products. Uh, a product line started a couple of years ago uh, with the, I think the Godzillas were the first. We'll do a video on it. Uh, but um, the uh, the first one that we announced was they announced uh, Warhammer 40,000 uh, Commander decks. Uh, and uh, they look pretty cool. Uh, I, I must admit, uh, the whole like kind of Space Marine uh, kind of feel to this uh, Commander deck should be pretty cool. I'm actually a little disappointed there's not going to be a set because I actually think it would be really cool to see what they could do with that. Um, I, I don't really have dates on when it should come out, but I wonder if it'll come out around the time of the uh, Unfinity uh, stuff because uh, a lot of that's kind of that space theme. So the two just feels like they would go hand in hand. Uh, I guess we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, coming this year. Um, other ones they've they've kind of just announced but haven't really given us any, any info on. There will be a Fortnite secret lair, and I'm sure that'll be uh, that's going to pull a lot of players into the game. I know uh, I have a nephew that is uh, huge in Fortnite, and that, we've been trying to get him to play for since he was young, and he's like 13 now, and that might be the thing that gets us gets him to finally play Magic with us. Uh, so that's exciting. Uh, later in the year, also there's some some talk about a secret lair uh, Street Fighter. And I know that for me is really cool. Ken, Chun Li, like they could do some really neat stuff. Um, though it just sounds like maybe a one of secret layer, but maybe maybe it'll be a little bigger. Uh, there's there's certainly enough cool characters there. Uh, was it Blanca, the guy who like munches on you and stuff? Uh, so it would be uh, it'd be really cool to uh, to see what they do with that. Um, in the picture that at least I've seen, it has Chun Li in it. So we assume there's gonna be some kind of Chun Li card, and then. Who knows what the other ones are? You've got a Ken and Ryu and all those guys. So uh, early in 2023, it sounds like there is going to be a Lords Lord of the Rings uh, Tales of the Middle Earth set. So we get a full set of the Lord of the Rings, and that is going to sell if they do a good job of it. Um, potential to sell like hotcakes. So uh, hopefully it is a. I don't know if it's a regular set. I hope it's not a regular set. I hope it's actually a, a special set. Maybe maybe like another Commander Legends Lord of the Rings. That'd be really awesome. So. Uh, hopefully, actually, I actually kind of hope it's not a regular set that is some kind of extra set, but I, I don't really have that info yet. So, um, so secret layers uh, in 2022 that we know of. So we've already we know those are going to probably come as big drops. The uh, the uh, whether they come together, the Street Fighter one or apart with the Fortnite. Um, don't know. I'm assuming they're going to be separate, and they'll have big shebangs with you know four or five other secret layers. Um, we already know. We just recently got the uh, what's it, the land one. There's a the land, and there's going to be one every month for uh, star signs, uh, which to me is kind of I don't know star signs are nonsense. So uh, I don't like the first one at all. So, but you know they they've announced there's going to be twelve of them, so they'll follow through with the twelve of them. So we'll have twelve secret layers there. Um, there's going to be a Valentine's Day, no doubt again. There will be a summer big drop. There will be a Christmas drop. Uh, so those will be three big ones, and there'll probably maybe two other ones uh, with these uh, other ones. So we, we, we could have five, six in each of those. We're probably looking close to 50 secret layers this year. There was 39, I think, last year. If the, I think that was the total count. Um, so expect probably one a week uh, when it averages out this year. They're making, like, boatloads of money on these things. So uh, um, they have done some good things with the secret layers, and they lowered kind of costs to some of the international shipping, which makes them a lot more likable. 
uh, at least for us in uh, in Canada here, and uh, maybe some of the European countries and other places are trying to get them. So, uh, I, anyways, I hope uh, this you guys found this uh, useful. Uh, lots of stuff coming. Uh, you really have to think about how you budget your money for the for the year, because very few people can afford. You know, to, to really do all of these sets. I'm actually, um, I have a video I kind of started doing and I haven't uh, finished the research on it. Uh, but I want to go through how much it costs to actually really fully participate in all these sets. Uh, if you do it throughout the year, uh, we're going to do a, a total. It, it should be interesting to do. So uh, I don't mind doing the totals when we, uh, total box openings and stuff. This will be a, uh, as you go through the year, what it costs you to play. So uh, anyways, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope uh, we are going to be doing more of these kind of info videos. If you do like them, let me know in the comments. Uh, and uh, please subscribe, like the video. We want more likes on our videos. Uh, we're not getting enough likes. And it really does help us in the algorithm. It helps us really grow the channel. So uh, we'll be doing giveaways on the Discord uh, for likes. And if you leave comments, I'll also add you into the giveaways. So you might get a message back on uh, YouTube that you won something. So uh, do help us out that way. So. Uh, anyways, I hope uh, everyone enjoyed the video. Everyone have a magical day.